Hey everybody, this is Know Your Mac on YouTube.com and today I'm going to show you a little bit about screen capturing and as the title says, it's the ability to capture what's on your screen in either the form of a picture or a movie. Now there are multiple ways to do that so I'll start with the way that's built in. Now first of all you can do it using a keyboard shortcut but I don't like doing that just because it doesn't give you editing right there and then. So I like opening preview which I'm gonna do using spotlight and we're, I'm just gonna go to file grab selection and I can move my cursor over a selection that I wanna capture as soon as I do that it'll bring up a .tiff, a tiff file of what I just captured. Now the reason why I like doing this instead of a keyboard shortcut is because as soon as I take that snapshot I could crop it, I could rotate it, so I have some basic editing tools right there. Now another way to do it in preview is using file grab again. You could either take the entire window which sometimes can't be shared. But just say take that little window and there you go. Now that's especially good if you're doing icon creating which you can see in one of my other videos. So the last way to do it is to use a timed screen which means that it'll count down from a certain number depends on your preferences it usually starts around five seconds and once that timer's up it'll capture everything that's on the screen, the entire thing. So when you do that, it's going to come up like a, a TIFF file, just like these two. I'm just going to throw these away. Now here's another way you can do it. I have this application up here that looks like a sun, and it's called Jing, J-I-N-G. And it's available for download at jing.com or the Apple website. Now that's a really great tool if you want even more editing than the basic tools of preview. So I'm just going to take the capture, drag it a little bit, and now right here I have the, the ability to either take an image snapshot or a video file, or I can choose to redo this selection or cancel it entirely. Let's say I choose an image. It'll save that as an image, and I can easily add multiple items. First of all, I can add little arrows and multiple colors. I can add text. I can add frames. And I can even draw a little bit with like a rectangle. So that's your basic Jing tool. Plus, a great thing to do with, with Jing is to upload it to screencast.com so you can share it with other people. You can even upload it to Flickr or download it. All you have to do is just enter a name, choose file, and there you go. You have a PNG file instead of a TIFF file. Now, as I said before, when taking a capture in Jing, you can also you can also take a mo a video. Now, what that does is it allows you to record what's right here. So now while I'm doing that, it's recording my voice as well, and you can see the pointer move across the screen. Once I stop that, I have basically the same tools as if I was using it in any other movie editor, and you can save it, you can upload it to Screencast, you can save it as an FTP, whatever you want to do with it. The third option, which I'm using right now, is best for YouTube, and I'll tell you why. Jing, when taking a movie, it saves it as an SWF file, which is only good for flash files. Now, flash files can't be uploaded on most sites. However, files such as MP3 or MOV can, which is what this application called I Show You records in. Another great feature of this is that 
You can record for YouTube, World of Warcraft, Teach Mac. You could choose a size. You can uh, you can use it for iMovie and iMovie HD, and even choose whether or not you like 1080p or 720p. And if you don't know, 1080p is the standard high definition mode. So that's really great if you want to upload it to to YouTube. My recommendations are always use Jing for s snapshots of what's going on, and always use I show you for movies. Thank you and I hope you subscribe.